Meet the CH-53E Super Stallion, the heaviest helicopter in the United States military. The CH-53E Super Stallion served as the workhorse of the Marine Corps for over 40 years. This three-engine helicopter is a heavy lift powerhouse. No other aircraft in the Department of Defense can compare to the CH-53E Super Stallion, said Captain Peter Nierheim, an instructor pilot with Marine Heavy Helicopter Training Squadron 302. It's the only one capable of doing what it does. It is the Marine Corps' heavy lift asset. The helicopter serves as a symbol of relief to troops on the ground. Whenever anybody sees it coming in, they know they're either getting mail, food, supplies, or they're getting out of there. They know they're getting something in a huge quantity, so they're happy. It's the unsung hero of Marine Corps aviation. The aircraft's capacity and flexibility make it noteworthy. We can lift Humvees and artillery. It can transport just about anything and everything. The CH-53E Super Stallion has provided combat support since 1981. Marines can perform fast rope landings and rappel from it. It's frequently used to insert and extract troops from combat zones. In February 2010, CH-53E Super Stallions were used for the initial insert of Marines at Marja in Helmand Province, Afghanistan, for the largest air assault since Vietnam. More than 600 troops were transported in less than two hours. However, the feat is not unusual for the helicopter, said Captain Jonathan Bryan, a CH-53E Super Stallion instructor with Marine Aviation Weapons and Tactics Squadron 1. The helicopters have been used multiple times to transport an entire battalion during a period of darkness. No one can lift what we lift, said Bryant. It can land somewhere and host a forward arming and refueling point for vehicles and aircraft. It's also used to recover downed aircraft and to evacuate and rescue people. Anytime there's a major disaster, CH-53E Super Stallions take thousands of pounds of food and relief supplies. The Super Stallion is no longer in production, but the fleet is undergoing a reset to extend their service life through 2025. Of the 142 CH-53Es in the fleet, the first 25 helicopters have completed their reset process, allowing the squadron commanders to plan for training, operations, and maintenance with renewed confidence. The CH-53E was designed to transport up to 55 troops with seats installed along the center line of the cabin or up to 32,000 pounds of cargo internally. Additionally, it can carry external loads of up to 36,000 pounds. The CH-53E is powered by three General Electric T-64 GE416 turboshaft engines, each of which is capable of producing up to 4,380 shaft horsepower. The engine's mounted above the helicopter's main cabin, and its power is transmitted to the rotors through a complex system of gears and shafts. The Super Stallion helicopter is capable of reaching a top speed of approximately 170 knots, which is equivalent to 196 miles per hour, or 315 kilometers per hour. The Super Stallion can extend its range and endurance through in-flight refueling. The helicopter is fitted with a forward extendable in-flight refueling probe, and it can also hoist hose refuel from a surface ship whilst in hover mode. Originally, the only armament on a CH-53E was two 50 caliber machine guns mounted in the windows on the sides of the helicopter, which could only cover the front and most of the sides, leaving the rear exposed. To address this vulnerability, a ramp-mounted weapon system, RMWS, has been developed and evaluated by the U.S. Marine Corps. The M3M RMWS is a Fabric National Herstal GAU-21 50 caliber reduced recoil machine gun that can be quickly installed and removed from the ramp in less than two minutes. The M3M has a rate of fire of 1,100 rounds per minute. The CH-53E also has chafe flare dispensers. The CH-53E is currently the largest helicopter in the Western world, while the CH-53K, which is still in production, will be even larger. They're second in the world to the Russian MIL-MI-26 helicopter. MH-53 Sea Dragon The Navy requested a version of the CH-53E for the airborne mine countermeasures role, designated as the MH-53E Sea Dragon. This variant features enlarged sponsons that provide substantially greater fuel storage and endurance. 
The MH-53E is equipped with advanced sensors such as sonar and magnetic anomaly detection equipment, which enable it to locate and classify underwater mines. It also retained the in-flight refueling probe and can be fitted with up to seven 300 United States gallon ferry tanks internally. Compared to the CH-53E Super Stallion, the MH-53E has undergone several modifications and upgrades to enhance its mission capabilities. These include improved avionics, specialized mine hunting equipment, and upgraded engines with increased power and reliability. Sixteen CH-53E Super Stallions and 27 MV-22B Osprey staged an impressive elephant walk. The aircraft formed up across the runway at Marine Corps Air Station Miramar for a massive readiness exercise that celebrated also the 75th anniversary of D-Day. The skies over Southern California saw an impressive display of air power as the U.S. Marine Corps Marine Aircraft Group 16 staged a mass sortie, launching 53 aircraft into the air at once. The service put 27 MV-22 Osprey and 16 CH-53E Sea Stallion helicopters on the tarmac at the same time, then sent them airborne. The show of force, known as an elephant walk, is meant to show the might of the U.S. military and its ability to surge large numbers of aircraft. The units involved demonstrated their ability to concentrate strength against the enemy, focus and sustain combat power, and take full advantage of fleeting opportunities. Marine Aircraft Group 16 is a force in readiness, says the commander of the Marine Air Group, Colonel Craig LaFleur. This mass launch is not just for show. The majority of these aircraft will go out and conduct tactical training after their launch, training that makes your Marines the most ready when our nation is least ready. The CH-53E Super Stallion has had several accidents over the years. Here are a few notable incidents. On January 26, 2005, a CH-53E carrying 30 Marines and one Navy corpsman crashed in Al Anbar province near Rutba, Iraq, oh, killing all 31 shit. on board. A sandstorm was determined as the cause of the accident. The crash was part of the deadliest day of the Iraq war in terms of U.S. fatalities. On October 11, 2017, a CH-53E based at Marine Corps Air Station Fatenma crash-landed in the Takai district of Higashi Village in Okinawa. An engine fire forced a crash landing 300 meters from homes. It's worth noting that despite these incidents, the CH-53E has also been involved in many successful missions and has served as a critical tool for the Marine Corps in various operations. Say goodbye to the CH-53E Super Stallion. The CH-53E Super Stallion is currently being replaced by the CH-53K King Stallion, which is a newer and more advanced version of the helicopter. Not only is the King Stallion the Marine Corps' largest helicopter, but it's also the largest, most powerful helicopter under the auspices of the Department of Defense. The King Stallion fits within the Marine Corps Force Design 2030 update by complementing ship-to-shore connectors already in service and helping the Corps maneuver in littoral areas. In their press release, the Marine Corps explained that the King Stallion's three engines produce 57% more horsepower with 63% fewer parts relative to its predecessor, and it can lift three times more than the CH-53E, the King Stallion's predecessor. The CH-53K offers significant improvements in flying characteristics compared to the CH-53E. The King Stallion features full authority fly-by-wire flight controls and mission management systems that reduce the pilot's workload. Some of the helicopter's new features include advanced stability augmentation, flight control modes that include attitude command velocity hold, automated approach to a stabilized hover, position hold and precision tasks in degraded visual environments, and tactile queuing. All of these features make the helicopter easier to fly and safer for the Marines the aircraft will carry into battle. The King Stallion can maintain its high performance even in what the Marine Corps calls a degraded aeronautical environment. For example, the CH-53K can operate at higher altitudes, hotter climates. The Marine Corps has a requirement for 200 CH-53Ks. Full rate production is planned for 2023. Full operational capability is scheduled for 2029. 
Finally, we say goodbye to the CH-53E, which has faithfully accompanied the Marine Corps for more than 40 years. Thank you.